Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Labarkatory Challenge! And today we are going to dive in with a couple interesting animals that I have actually been quite eager to crossbreed for quite some time. A lion with all of his lovely majestic mane, his fantastic tail. Look at this lion, and actually his tail really probably should be a little bit thinner, but I don't think it can be. What if we do this? No, I don't think his tail can be thinner due to uh, the floofiness of his fur. So an extra floofy lion named Leonis after our lion in our wildcraft adventures and a poodle, a really cute poodle named Isabel. So Isabel, thank you so much for your comment on some of our previous videos. And I have to admit your suggestion of a corgi and a zebra is amazing. That's definitely going on my list of future animals to mix and match together for our crossbreeding challenge because can you imagine a zebra striped corgi? Ah, that'd be so cute. Oh my gosh. I would love to see if we could end up with that mix, but I just have been watching so much Safari Live lately and you know, Lion King came out and I took my little cousin to see it for her birthday. It was really fantastic. Uh, the girls definitely loved it. My two little ones, uh, my two little cousins. And I really, really have been wanting to see what a lion and a poodle will look like. After doing so many of our crossbreeds, I've come to realize that you can never really expect what you're going to get out of any mix, but taking a couple of the more extreme animals and mixing them together can give you some really fun results. So our poodle here is actually one of the poodle variants who comes with extra fluff and fur and a little bit of definition to her patterning, and I really love her. Oh my goodness, she is a fluffy sleuth who is very smart, and I can only imagine it is her dedication to keeping her coat looking absolutely fantastic, and her surprisingly deep and wide, broad knowledge that uh, has actually really made Leonis kind of fall for her and want to take her as a mate. And perhaps our poodle here, Isabel, who has that deep and wide knowledge, extremely smart, smart amongst even the smartest of poodles might be thinking it could be quite interesting to see if she ends up having any puppies that have her poodle fur patterning so like her poodle, her poodle poodle <laughs> that have her poodle fur outline but have a lion coloring uh so i think that this may not be maybe leonis is the one who's like in love with her and it may not be a love match on Isabel's end but i do think that she finds him to be a fascinating experiment she is a dog after my own mad scientist heart you could say but all right let's go ahead and begin with a, a poodle lion litter i'm really interested to see what kind of tail and fluff and ears and everything these little ones might happen to have we've got i mean look at this we've got the fluffy ears the fluffy tails the body and the head that Isabel could offer, but then we have the extremely floofy mane that Leonis might offer up with those gigantic paws. So let's see what we have. Let me go ahead and get the first names pulled up. Dun 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 dun, dun from our random name list. And now we're going to mix these two together. Are you guys ready? Isabel trotting out from her owner's home, you know, keeping an eye on things. I have a feeling her owner happens to be an extremely important researcher who is visiting an area of Africa that happens to have wild lions nearby. As she trots out from their very exclusive suite, no doubt located in some very important secret location where her, her researching scientist owner is up to who knows what. She meets with Leonis, who is roaming a little bit too close to the human areas, but lucky for him, this turns out to be a good case of meeting a new love of his life. And we've got our very first mix between the two coming on up. Are you guys ready? And we have... <gasps> wow! Demon eyes, of course. I am so tired of demon eyes at this point. And really, you know what? We're gonna roll. We're gonna roll those eyes. We're not gonna keep those. Well, you know what? Actually, it's an all-white animal. So maybe this is an albino animal. <gasps> That's true. All right, my friends. I would like you all to meet Charlotte. Charlotte, thank you so much for your sweet comments in our previous videos. Congratulations on being our albino wolf poodle or wolf. <laughs> 
<laughs> Lion Poodle. Sorry, guys. I have Wolf Quest 3 still on the mind, if you can't tell. And let's go ahead and see what your personality is going to be like. All right, so you are actually a skittish, jumpy dog who is a sleuth and quite curious like your mother, and glutton, which I think definitely takes after your father. I cannot wait to see what fur type she's going to grow up with. This is going to be complete mystery until these ones actually age up, and I can only imagine Isabel kind of sniffing each of her pups over very carefully and nodding to herself that yes, they will indeed be a mystery. But I think I may make a new rule where if the animals are not like a white variant where we could say they're albino, then I might roll the demon eyes again, because it's getting kind of ridiculous. Hopefully we don't end up with demon eyes this time too. Alright, let's- <gasps> What the heck?! Isabel, what? Okay. I think Isabel's researching owner might have something to do with genetic experiments. And there's more to Isabel than meets the eyes, friends. Uh, Isabel, if you and Leonis have a child, what would it look like? Like that? No, like this. <laughs> that completely, completely blew me away. Isabel has got some sort of- these poodles have genes that we weren't expecting, my friends. They definitely are full of mysteries. Oh, all right. This one is going to be K-pop coffee beans, which I love, and I can't add the S, so you are K-pop coffee bean. K-pop coffee bean, welcome, welcome to our family. Isabel, your mother, is a bit of a researcher herself and very happy to have you here. Let's go ahead and see what your personality is going to be. You are a loyal hunter who's very energetic. What an interesting mix and what interesting ears you have. Oh my goodness, I love it. Let's actually get some pictures of the puppies while we are here. This is gonna be so fun. I feel like we're having some sort of super smart breed this time for sure. All right, let's get another name. There we go. Like a super smart breed experiment is what I'm trying to say, where the whole litter is just going to be exceptionally intelligent. And the next one is going to be, dun 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 dun, a little lion! Look at you, little guy! This one is Focus! So Focus, thank you so much for your comments on a previous video. And uh, I definitely think a cheetah and a goat could be interesting. A cheetah and a gazelle like we had last time is pretty close to a goat, but not quite there. So there is more experiments we could definitely do. And you, Focus, are actually a smart, jumpy, loyal, poodle lion and I'm going to be very curious to see what kind of fur type you end up with. This is going to be so much fun when we see the fur types when they grow up guys. All right let me go ahead and get the next name ready and we're going to go ahead and breed again. I feel like Isabel is taking notes. I just I can almost see her like nosing around on a little pad like a little iPad. <gasps> Look another one of those puppies that has the purple or like the pinks. Okay I'm so curious to see if we're going to end up with that. <gasps> we did! Are you kidding me? Isabel, what is in your genomes? Okay, guys. This is... Okay, you guys. You guys. This is so ironic. This is Lydia. So, Lydia... Cat, thank you so much for your comments on our previous videos. And the irony of Lydia's comment is that she was really hoping to get a pup that we could name Pink Fluffy Unicorn. That just kind of blows me away. And Lydia, I, I do agree, Crow and Luster need to have some pups in our laboratory. I think that would be very fun. I think it would be, they'd both be wolves, so we'd probably know what they would end up looking like. But Lydia, so you wanted a, a animal named Pink Fluffy Unicorn. So I'm gonna go ahead, Pink Fluffy Unicorn, like Pink Fluffy Unicorn Poodle. The irony here, in fact, I'm even going to randomly roll to see if we end up with the unicorn horn. Why not? Like, the irony here is just too strong. They, there's, I've never naturally had a pink dog be born. Here we have a poodle who apparently is hiding a pink dog gene in its genome, which is amazing. And you left a comment saying you would love to see a pup named Pink Fluffy Unicorn. So of course that has to happen. You too. The irony of that is too much. Go look for a four leaf clover, my friend. You too are experiencing a lucky day. All right, let's go ahead and see what your personality is going to be. You are playful, independent, and smart. Something tells me that you take a lot after your mother. 
This is so cool. And we still have two puppies left to go. All right, let's go ahead and... All right, all right, Isabelle, your next child. <gasps> Again, the demon eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and roll on this one. And this is actually Wolf Lover, 3000. Wolf Lover, thank you so much for your comment. I do think that a uh, cheetah and a lion mix would be really fun. And you are actually an aggressive, energetic hunter. So you are ready to go back out into the wild and be like your dad, if you ask me. And we're gonna go ahead and randomly roll your eye color again. Let's see, that, that actually changed the eyes, unfortunately. Uh, so we'll just have to leave it. I thought we could randomly roll the eye color to deal with the red demon eyes, but I guess we're just gonna have to leave it. I mean, come on, Wolf Lover the Poodle Lion is actually an aggressive energetic hunter. Maybe those red eyes are just to strike fear into its prey. All right, let's see the next name really quickly. All right, let's go ahead and have, dun, 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 dun. The last one. Oh my gosh, Isabel. What jeans are you hiding? Okay, and we ended up with a pretty normal looking little one who we're going to be naming Red after Red Thorn. And Red Thorn, thank you so much for leaving comments in our previous videos. You're very sweet and I love your ideas. I wish we could mix a calico cat and a jaguar, but if we want something that's as big as a dog, we can only mix like the things based off dogs with dogs and the things based off cats with cats. Uh, but I could do a little bit of tweaking. I think it might be fun to see what we could try uh, with the cats because we've been doing dog related things for a long time, but that's because the results are just so amazing. But Red, welcome as the last of Isabelle's little experiment puppies. This is truly one of the most dramatic results that I think we have ever had with these ones. Whoops. I wanted a little picture. There we go. Your personality, my friend. You are smart, like your mother, a sleuth, and loyal. So this is a really fun mix, you guys. And let's, let's look over Isabelle's little experiments. We've got Charlotte, the albino, K-pop coffee bean, who looks kind of like a coffee bean. We have one named Focus, who does look like a little lion. A completely unexpected pink one named Pink Fluffy Unicorn Poodle. Uh, we also have Wolf Lover, who has the demon eyes. And we have Red, who does not have demon eyes. They all look like normal puppies right now, but what will they look like between their mother's fluffiness and their father's fantastic mane when they grow up? Let's go ahead and see. All right, Charlotte, you're up first. <gasps> Whoa, Charlotte, you just ended up being like a glorious white wolf. Look at that, wow. Okay, well, mixing the poodle and the lion ended up with like a gorgeous white wolf, you guys. What do you think about that result? I think Charlotte is going to win so many of you over. Let me know who you really think the best experiment turned out to be of our litter this time down in the comments, my friends. K-pop coffee bean. <gasps> K-pop coffee bean! Yes! I was hoping that we would get some of this poodle floofiness, and we did! Look at that. I actually think that suits his name so well. I love the little tiny bits of brown on the end of the ears. That is just adorable. And the little brown muzzle. Oh my gosh. K-pop coffee bean poodle. Lion, you fit your name so well. I just really feel like for some reason I want to put this dog with one of my sims who really loves going to cafes. Maybe they really love K-pop. It'd be so perfect. Oh, K-pop coffee bean, you are also fantastic. Oh, focus, what do you have to offer up? This is the only one patterned like a lion. So are we going to end up with a lion poodle? Go. Oh, nope, we did not end up with a lion poodle. So we missed out on the one thing that I was really kind of expecting to see. I have to say our other experiments definitely leave me in awe. Focus, you wanted to be a traditional lion and you really have followed in your father's footsteps that way. So you are ready to go. You're just like ready to head right back out into the savannah. I think that Isabel is taking notes. Now, this is the completely unexpected result from this mix and match. I had no idea that poodles were hiding such colorful colorations deep in their genome. And Pink Fluffy Unicorn Poodle, let's go ahead and see what you grow up into being. Wow. 
This is like cotton candy, grew some ears, legs, and a tail, and wandered away. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't really this. It wasn't really this. I, I'm, you know what? I'm pretty happy with this. Pink fluffy unicorn poodle. Welcome. Welcome to the family. I think that this is definitely an outlier of an experiment that Isabel is eagerly taking notes on. Oh my gosh, you guys. We are going to have to do a lot more poodle crossbreeds, so I hope that you guys have some really fun ideas in mind that you can share with me, because I didn't know that this kind of gene was hiding in our poodles, and I want to see more of it. So welcome, Pink Fluffy Unicorn. I will always, always remember you. And thank you, Lilia, for your wonderful suggestion of that name. It was extremely luckily time. Timed. Next we have Wolf Lover. Oh boy, like a bear. Wolf Lover, you look like a little bear. You too are ready to head back out into the wild. Don't worry, your mother, Isabella, is taking notes. And then finally, last but not least, we have a little red. <gasps> oh red! You took that poodle pattern and you just ran for it. I love it. I absolutely love it. But all right, guys, we have a fantastically diverse arrangement of our animals this time. We have definitely got some unexpected babies from these results. And I have to know, what do you guys think was our best experiment? There is, I mean, there's just such a fun variety. I love all of them. Oh, so all right, guys, if you could, do please leave a like to help me feed this pink fluffy unicorn somehow. If you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.